Maximilian von Wojtjes, born on November 12, 1881, in Dessau, Germany, was a prominent military figure whose career spanned the tumultuous period of the early to mid-20th century. Known for his strategic acumen and leadership abilities, von Wojtjes played a significant role in the German military during both World War I and World War II. Von Wojtjes began his military career in the Imperial German Army during World War I, where he served with distinction on the Western Front. His experiences in the Great War provided him with valuable insights into modern warfare and shaped his approach to military strategy. After the war, during the interwar period, von Wojtjes remained in the German military, navigating the complexities of the Weimar Republic. As tensions rose in Europe leading up to World War II, von Wojtjes found himself in a key position within the Wehrmacht, the unified armed forces of Nazi Germany. In the early stages of the conflict, he commanded the Second Army during the invasion of Poland in 1939. His success in this campaign earned him recognition and further opportunities for advancement within the German military hierarchy. One of von Wojtjes' most significant roles came during Operation Barbarossa, the German invasion of the Soviet Union in 1941. As the commander of Army Group B, he played a crucial part in the early stages of the campaign. His forces advanced deep into Soviet territory, achieving notable successes, including the capture of Kiev. However, as the harsh Russian winter set in, the German advance stalled, and von Wojtjes faced the challenges of a brutal Eastern Front. Von Wojtjes' military career continued to evolve, and he was appointed as Commander-in-Chief of the German Army in 1942. This role put him in charge of coordinating German ground forces on both the Eastern and Western Fronts. Despite his tactical prowess, the German military faced increasing challenges on multiple fronts, and the tide of the war began to turn against the Axis powers. In 1944, Von Wojtjes found himself at the centre of the Normandy invasion, known as D-Day. As the Allies landed on the beaches of Normandy, von Wojtjes struggled to repel the invading forces. The subsequent battles in Western Europe saw a series of setbacks for the Germans, and von Wojtjes faced the difficult task of managing a retreat while attempting to hold back the advancing Allied forces. As the war drew to a close, von Wojtjes was taken into Allied captivity and later faced trial during the Nuremberg trials. Accused of war crimes, he was ultimately acquitted of major charges, but was held responsible for the actions of the German military during the war. Maximilian von Wyck's military career reflects the complex and challenging nature of the times in which he lived. His strategic decisions and leadership style played a crucial role in shaping the course of World War II, and his legacy remains a subject of historical analysis and debate. Thanks for watching.